Welcome to my video of the strange behavior of rats and cows at a dairy in western Washington state where I use my air gun to control a rat population. This video does include images of rats being shot and killed with an air gun, so if you are offended by these images, please leave now and find something else to watch. The dairy does provide perfect habitat for the rats. They have all the food they could possibly want to eat. The dairy buildings and other infrastructure provide the rats with plenty of shelter for protection from the weather and from predators. Except me, I guess I am the apex predator in this environment. Most of the feed for the cows is stored in big open top bunkers or silos and this chopped corn or grass hay is then covered with plastic sheeting which is held in place against the wind with the weight of hundreds of old tires which when they're not being used to hold the plastic down are stacked and stored off to the side. This is perfect habitat for the rats as you can see. They nest back in all of these, this structure and their numbers have exploded to the point where the dairy workers actually had to kick rats out of the way so they could do their jobs. During my months of shooting rats at the dairy, most of the time the cows and the rats just peacefully coexist and ignore one another. But I have seen some behavior that's just really odd and unexplainable. This rat is grabbing dead rats and dragging them into an area here where back behind the concrete wall the old tires are stacked. Second time around um, he didn't wasn't quite as successful. I have no idea why he was dragging the rats around. I've seen very little uh, indication of cannibalism amongst the rats. Most of the time, as you can see here, they eat together, they're born together, they live together, they die together. This dairy is their entire universe. And mostly it's just peaceful coexistence and they sort of ignore one another. Even when rats are shot and killed, the cows pay little or no attention. This rat was actually laying on the cow and the wall and I had to change position to safely shoot the rat without injuring the cow. Obviously the cow doesn't mind. The rat did find out that falling down at the tail end of a cow is kind of a messy place to go. As you can see the cow didn't react in any way to the rat being on him did not react in any way to me shooting the rat. And you can see in this video where the rat was located and where he wound up. Calves are kept in separate pens. It's well sheltered from the weather and the rats take advantage of the shelter and the feed for the calves by burrowing in as you can see here. You can also see that the calf pays no attention to me shooting these rats other than to mildly lift its head when it hears some thrashing around as the rat is going through his death throes. This sequence shows a rat that is poking its head through a plywood divider in a calf area inside the barn. The rat shot in the head uh, goes through its characteristic hind leg kicking, flipping maneuver that is so common to the rats. And as he dies, his buddy comes over to see what he's up to. 
unfortunately, I didn't have my rifle cocked or I would have taken a shot at the time. But after I cocked the rifle, the rat has run through another hole in the back of the plywood. But I am able to see his eye as he's looking back at me and I take the shot. And then on the other side of the fighter, near the calf, you can see the rat flopping around in the crack by the calf's hoof. And much to my surprise, that characteristic back leg kick, kick brought the rat right up underneath the calf's nose. And the calf pays no attention to this rat literally dying directly under its nose. And the calf is away. Once again, total indifference most of the time. But there have there were two times that I have observed what you're going to see in the next few sequences where the relationship between the, some of the cows and some of the rats comes into question. This rat is shot and in a feed area and is thrashing about and it's no different than any of the other thousands of shots that I've made when the cows pay no attention. And suddenly, this young dairy cow pokes its head through the feed bars and seems to be very concerned about this particular rat, licking it, nuzzling it, and seems to be upset. Now, you want to keep in mind it's completely dark to the cow and the rat. You and I can see because of the night vision capability. But the cow seems to be very disturbed about this rat being killed. And I'm only guessing at what the motivation really is. That was the first time I'd ever seen this behavior. And I've only seen it one other time. That is in the next sequence. Another calf pin, and this is an older calf. And the rat is in the pen, once again, burrowed in there. They live in there. And rat gets shot. Cow gets up. Once again, it's completely dark to the cow, so it's smelling around. Probably hears the rat moving around. I can't take a follow-up shot because the cow's too close. And once again, here's this behavior that seems to be, I guess, it looks like caring and concern to me. The licking, the nuzzling. And as the rat dies, the cow starts to nuzzle it with the same kind of behavior patterns you see when they have a calf and they're trying to get the calf to get up, stand up. They nuzzle it around and move it around, and uh, very similar behavior. Once again, I'm only supposing that motivation. I really don't know. But this is very strange behavior of rats and cows. This is their world, their environment. I'm the intruder. I can only guess at what goes on with them as they live in their universe. Strange behavior of rats and cows.